Welcome to the Immigration.ca live stream series. My name is Andrea, and I'm here with immigration lawyer Colin Singer. Colin is managing partner of Immigration.ca and SkilledWorker.com. As many of you know, the Quebec government released new legislation on February 7th, and this law would cancel more than 18,000 pending applications. This week, a superior court judge rendered a decision. So Colin, what are the issues? So as we all know, there's this uh, controversy in Quebec with a backlog of applications. Uh, with main applicants of 18,000 plus dependents, we're looking at over 45,000 persons who are being affected uh, by this entire uh, controversy. Many of these individuals applied up to 10 years ago, as long as 10 years back. Uh, the problem with applications that are so aged is that obviously there's outdated supporting documentation. Government has to go to these individuals and ask for updated language tests. And even in the best of a perfect scenario where you have fresh applications, the figures show 50% individuals who apply uh, uh, get through. So 50% uh, are either canceled or uh, rejected or they, they don't f continue forward. So uh, the government is only approving 50% of the applications that are submitted. Uh, the new law will allow the government to effectively uh, cancel the pending applications, those that were submitted before August 2nd, but have not been uh, have not reached a decision by February 7th, 2019. The government is obviously looking at this uh, with the aim of saving anywhere between five and ten million dollars uh, and having to process these cases, uh, m many of which are just uh, not going to go forward. Uh, so the government has this law, and what they started to do is act as if the law was already in force. So beginning on February 7, they, they started writing individuals and saying, we're not going to process your pending applications uh, because we have this law that's going to pass. Obviously, that caused alarm for many people, and this led to a court challenge uh, which came for a hearing and was decided by Quebec Superior Court this past Monday. Okay, so you mentioned the court challenge. So what were the details of this challenge? So the plaintiffs in the case were the uh, Quebec Association of Immigration Lawyers, along with two individual plaintiffs uh, who were part of the 18,000 individual applicants. Uh, on behalf of, of these, this large group, uh, they basically submitted and, and argue, of course, and rightly so, that the Quebec government doesn't have authority to begin acting as if the law passed. Uh, they can't ignore the current law, which requires the government to process cases uh, until the new law passes. Uh, and obviously that would violate the rights of individuals who are entitled to be processed. And the court agreed, uh, not surprisingly, the court agreed and ordered the government to respect the law, even though the government claimed it has the inherent power to efficiently manage its immigration system, which they interpreted as being able to start applying this new law by not going and processing pending applications, even in the interim period until the law comes into force. Of course, the Quebec Superior Court did not agree with this, and they forced the Quebec government to process these cases in the backlog. And when the new law comes in, that'll be the time they can begin relying on the new provisions. Uh, obviously, the government's concern of, of acting this way for the sake of efficiency is just not legally permissible. And ignoring older, the older cases now would be entirely unlawful. Okay. So what can applicants then with pending applications expect? So it cannot be uh, emphasized that everyone in the industry uh, is certainly upset uh, with this very unfair and inhumane way of treating so many people who've been waiting for all this time. Uh, the question is, being unfair is a completely different issue from being legal. The government, unfortunately, has the power to put into uh, a force new legislation that will affect all the applications that were previously submitted. This is a, a hallmark of, of Quebec immigration law. It's a hallmark of federal immigration law as well, where governments can uh, try to correct the inefficiencies that have gone on for years by 
canceling these applications, giving back people their processing fees, and saying, we've made, a, we've made a blunder, we're so sorry. That is the reality of how things uh, can work and are permitted to work. Now, we all know from testimony that was heard uh, during the uh, trial last week uh, is that the Quebec government will likely pass this, what we all call very harsh legislation, uh, before the summer break. So sometime before July 1st, we expect to see this new law go into force. Now, what became an issue during the hearing was how quickly Quebec must work to treat these, these applications in the backlog. And discussion was made on what, what historically has the Quebec government been able to handle in its capacity uh, of, of infrastructure and processing. And in the best of times, Quebec could handle uh, 2,000 cases a month, and they would approve 1,000 cases a month. And that was in the best of times back in 2015. Uh, but the court decided they're not going to get into the nitty-gritty and define the speed at which Quebec government must process. We're all looking now for March, April, May, and perhaps June. We've got a good four months time where individuals who are affected by this decision and could be close to the front of the line can expect to be processed, but we can't obviously say. We also know that Quebec will not approve more than a thousand cases in the uh, backlog, even if they had the rest of 2019. Again, for reasons of what we explained, there's old documentation and such, and the most the Quebec government is going to get through is a thousand cases, as they say. Um, so the first priority will, the government will go uh, and look at are people who are working here, people who are studying here. These people have uh, a, a more urgent uh, interest for the Quebec government. So people who are living here, studying on a study permit, working here, and if you've already Uh, got, have this pending application, uh, you need to be sure you meet the requirements for the professional experience program because individuals who are studying here or working here have access to that particular part of the immigration programs. You need to re recall, and everyone is aware already, French speaking, French is an essential component of the professional experience program. So you need to be sure you have intermediate knowledge of oral French. Those are the uh, takeaways from what we need to know on the So decision. Colin, once an application is approved by Quebec, what can people expect to be approved by the, the federal authorities for their permanent resident application? So this is another uh, issue that has become quite controversial. Uh, Quebec has its own authority to issue approvals, Quebec certificates of selection. Once that happens, the federal authorities conduct medical and security verifications. And there's always a certain number of people who are approved by Quebec uh, and they're waiting for their federal visas. Currently, uh, there are 40, more than 41,000 approved Quebec applicants waiting for their Canadian permanent resident visa. Uh, and of course, this is on top of the 18,000 individuals who are in the Quebec backlog. Uh, and the Quebec government, everyone knows, has come in on a platform to reduce immigration levels, and that took place. They filed their uh, levels plan in December, and there's a 20% de uh, reduction in immigration levels. So all said and done, if you're getting an approval today uh, with Quebec, you're not going to be coming to Canada with a Canadian resident visa in hand, a Canadian permanent resident visa, uh, for more than two years. It's going to take that long to get your Canadian permanent residence. Uh, so, uh, people who are obviously uh, recently uh, received uh, a certificate of approval, again, you're looking at near two years, and you can do the math going backwards to see when you were approved. Um, this particular controversy we wrote about uh, earlier, it's on our website today, and people can take a look at that under Canada Immigration News. The message to people who are obviously looking at Canada, looking through Quebec uh, with an, uh, a view of coming here permanently, you need to consider all other programs besides Quebec. If you speak French, obviously Quebec could be an option for you, but given what's taking place here, you kind of want to avoid uh, for quite some time uh, working in the system on the Quebec side. Look to other immigration programs. If you're an employer, uh, obviously you have limited options. You're going to incur frustrations, uh, expect to have to keep getting work permits renewed, 
um, and it's, it's not going to be something that you're uh, going to be able to uh, overcome. It's going to become a part of the uh, landscape for quite some time. Uh, being a, a Quebec-based employer and getting your uh, workers sorted with Canadian permanent residents is going to take much longer than it's ever done before uh, for all of these reasons. And unfortunately, that's uh, what we're going to be dealing with until the Quebec system is, is really uh, fine-tuned and it's harmonized with the federal side and all of the policies are put into place. Again, this does not look very promising for the next one to two years. Um, and if you're an individual coming to Canada, uh, or if Quebec is where you're interested in working for various reasons, uh, great employment opportunities here. If permanent residence is not that important to you and you're okay to have a work permit, then this is a wonderful environment uh, for individuals uh, from an employment perspective and, and quality of life. So it's a question of what your expectations are and if you can work with them. Uh, this uh, is an option that people uh, can strongly consider, uh, but you've got to know and be aware of what to expect. Great. Well, thank you very much, Colin. And if you're interested in finding out if you qualify for Canadian immigration, please go to www.immigration.ca and complete our free online evaluation form. We'll then get back to you with your options. And as always, please do follow us and like us on our social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And we'll keep you posted for the next date of the live stream. Great.